Guys, Mr. Titan here again with some more Tennessee Titan news. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing safe. All right. All right welcome back. Just going to talk a little bit more about more Titan news. First things first, the show. We're going to talk about NFL uh, draft picks, NFL free agents, and then I got a little something for you guys at, at the end of the show. Just wanted to say uh, thank you again. For watching me, for watching the video, uh, got a lot of views. I was really happy. Just need a couple likes and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not gonna be begging for it. I'm just just trying to make videos little by little. Work on the lighting and stuff like that. Sorry. And uh, write down comments. Let me know what you think. If, I need to work on something. I need to stop shaking. I need to stop saying um. I say um a lot. But second video. It is what it is. So let's just get right in, um, right into it. I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, Tennessee Titans, the drafts, and how many draft picks we have, and what we could possibly do. Um, there it is again. Round one. We have the 29th pick. Right. Round two, we have the 61st. Round three, we have the 93rd. We don't have round four. We don't have round four. We have a round five. It's 174. And then we have two round sevens. Now, the first round for round seven is 224 fourth. And that's via the Browns. And then the next one is 243. Sorry, I messed that up. 224 was the Browns, and then 243rd was the last pick. And those are the NF, uh, the Tennessee Titans draft picks. Now, the Titans needs. Since uh, free agency happened, we, need, we have a lot of needs. A lot of people think we're okay, this and that. I don't think so. There's a couple, thi a couple needs that we need to address, and... This is, in my opinion, what the Titans need. We need cornerback. We need edge rusher, offensive line, QB, and running back. Those are, those are essential. Those are things we really, really need. For our corners, listen to this, guys. For our corners, we have Malcolm Butler, right? Adoree Jackson. After that, Chris Milton, Kenneth Durden, Kareem Orr. That's the Tennessee Titans corner, cornerbacks. Yeah, exactly. Starting to ease up on your chair. Yes, I agree completely why you're doing that. It's a little weird. We need to get corner. Now, if we re-sign Logan Ryan, perfect. I'm all in on Logan Ryan, yes. But Malcolm Butler played excellent last year until he got hurt. Adoree Jackson played excellent too until he got hurt. And then we started picking up some random people, right? We got uh, with Tremaine Brock. He didn't play too bad in the, the Patriots game towards the end of the season. But 32-year-old cornerback. And guess what? Kansas City Chiefs, the burners, right? That's what happened. So Malcolm Butler did great, right? Till the injury, but it's okay. Dory Jackson, same thing. But we need we need other we need other pieces. I think with Malcolm Butler, Dory Jackson, and Logan Ryan will be perfect. You know, Logan Ryan could be that veteran leader. Same thing with Malcolm Butler. Teaches the young players how to play. You know? But again, all these draft pick draft picks, we could technically pick up all our Titan, all the needs the Titans 
I need Chains. Yeah. You know? But edge rusher. We all know if we're gonna get clowny. There's a couple of free agent uh free agency uh players out there still for an edge rusher. Yeah. If the clowny thing doesn't fall through, what's our next step? We're just gonna is J Rob just gonna pick from the draft? Technically, I don't know. What about offensive linemen? We need someone, right? It's another need. QB. Backup QB is essential, especially for the Tennessee Titans, right? It started with Marcus Mariota. That Blaine Gabbert. That was our backup QB. And guess what? That bit us in the ass because guess what? The last game, Sunday night, they made it. They flexed it. Sunday night, the Colts versus the Titans, Nissan Stadium. Win or go home. I remember that game. Now, I had a bad feeling about the game, but I'm always optimistic. That's one thing. I'm always optimistic. It's like, hey, you know, we, we have a shot, right? Game wasn't so pretty, but it shows you that the backup QB role is very important. You need that. Now, Logan Woodside, that doesn't, that doesn't ring, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Logan Woodside as our backup QB. Apparently, they're sticking with it. Logan Woodside. It's a couple free agency quarterbacks out there. I mean, yeah, they're not the greatest, but Cam Newton. Cam Newton's not bad. He was just injured, right? So how bad is the injury that people are, you know, not, not, not jumping on him. Well, Jameis Winston, yeah, he throws more interceptions than than touchdowns. But yeah, Jameis Winston, Logan Woodside, Cam Newton, Logan Woodside, Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles, Logan Woodside. You get one. I'm just saying um, that could also be picked in the draft. I think. That's one of the things we'll probably get is a QB, maybe later down the, the line in the, in the draft. Also, running back. Running backs. We got Derrick Henry, yeah. Who's our second running back, though? Can't feed Derrick Henry the ball 50 times a game. Burn him out by the 10th game. He'll be out. Quad. Hamstring happened before, right, guys? Can't can't just give Henry the ball all the time. Be nice, yeah. But remember, can't do it all by himself. So here's a couple free agencies, you know, just off the top of my head, running backs that they're still out there. Not, I'm not saying that we should get them. I'm just Ty Montgomery played with the Jets. He's up there in age, too, as for a running back. I think he's like 27. Mm. Spencer Ware played with the Chiefs, barely played for the Chiefs. 28 is up there, too. Devontae Freeman. I'm okay with De Devontae Freeman if they would have picked him up. He's 28 as well. Played for the Falcons. I think his stats were like, I think he rushed for 184. 656 yards, two touchdowns last year. That was the stats. So, <clears throat> yeah, not the greatest. And remember, the running back, you know, for the the career for a running back, it's not it's not very long. And you're, you're getting these guys, what, 27, 28 year olds already, where you can get always a young a young young player in the in the draft, 21, 22 years old, fresh legs. So. Those are some of the free agencies that you know I decided just to just pop up in my head. So there's there's room. It's always room to draft players, right? But it's not always just oh let's just pick up this draft player and just just you know, plug them in. They have to work in the system. They have to fit what uh, Mike Mike uh, Rabel wants and what J Rob wants, right? What is Mike Rabel and J Rob are like? You know, two brain, I mean, one brain. They think alike. They have that same, that patriot way, right? The patriot way. That's, that's what they, they taught them over there. So, hopefully, 
with with the Titans' needs and stuff. I hope hopefully they we hear something before the draft comes. You know, hopefully we sign someone for the defense. Hopefully we re-sign you know Logan Ryan or we pick up Clowney. But you know we don't know about Clowney now because apparently the Browns you know are the strongest suitor now, and it's still between the Browns or the highest bidder. Let me say they are the one that threw threw out the the most money for him. I mean, he could technically go to the Browns if he wants some more money. But then you have the Rabel connection, right? You know, Rabel, he coached, he was coached under Mark, Mike Rabel when he was the uh, uh, defensive coordinator So and back in Houston. So you never know. He might want to go back to where he started with Mike Rabel. You don't know. Um, Seahawks, I think, would be the the best place for him to land just because he played for them last year, but who knows what's going on. I don't. But hopefully, 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 we hear some no- uh, some news. Hopefully there's the Titans make some splash right before the draft, so we kind of, I can kind of ease my mind and know exactly what we're going for, but I definitely think um, if we don't pick up Logan Ryan, we'll probably go for a corner or an offensive tackle the first first round. That's just my my guess. Other than that, um, thank you guys for tuning in on my video. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm too boring and I'm giving you, uh, you guys enough information so you guys can listen and process. And yes, I have uh, some jerseys in the back. The reason why I have those jerseys we got Delaney Walkers over here and Marcus Mariota. NFL.com is actually having a really good sale. I'm not promoting them or anything like that. I'm just just being honest. I was looking up. I got an AJ Brown jersey for 73 bucks. And I think it's like it came out to like 82 bucks with taxes and shipping and everything. So got an AJ Brown jersey on the way. I guess I need to get another couple couple more jerseys since you know these players are already off the team unfortunately but um you guys should check it out if you guys need to supply yourself with some some titan gear i mean they got some good jerseys they got some nice hats um so just check that out if you guys want to and just want to let you guys know that i will do another episode right before the draft so maybe Think about like April like 16th, 17th, or 18th. Do another uh, show. Um, this time, the show will be about the AFC South and our opponents. So we have the Colts, Jaguars, and Houston Texans and what they did in free agency and who they picked up and who they let go and how they look. And I'll give you guys my opinion on who I think will have a clash with, you know, have a problem with, you know, getting that number one spot for the AFC South in our division. Um, The other two teams, I don't really think they did it, but there's one team that I I believe they approved a lot and might give us a little bit of a a hard time, but I think we can handle them. But, yeah, stay tuned for that episode. That will probably come on in a couple weeks as I, I get more information on that, but... Definitely stay tuned and definitely, 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 definitely. If you like what you saw, please uh, keep watching my videos. I'm trying, as each video goes on, I'm trying to improve. If it's me talking, if me talking louder or the room, the lighting and stuff, I just, just bear with me. Hopefully you guys are staying safe, you know, wash your hands. If you guys need to go out, go out when you need to, don't. Just go out just because you, excuse me, are bored at home and stuff. I mean, I know we're all going through it. Just remember, um, just remember to enjoy every 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 little moment you have with your family. It's great. Stay at home. Make the most of it. All right, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. And I hope that you guys have a nice day. I hope you guys like what I brought for you today enjoyed it and remember guys if you guys 
want more videos, comment, let me know. Hey, Mr. Titan, this is, you know, this is what I don't like about the show. This is what, I, you know, you need to stop saying, um, guess what? I'll fix it. I'll work on it. That's why I'm, every day I'm trying to do little things, read up on YouTube, you know, just to, to get a really, really good video out there for you guys. So thank you so much for everything. And remember just to tighten up, guys. Hey, Nashville, turn the lights on me.